welcome back. Um, got a couple of journals to share with you guys. This was inspired by Yvonne. She recently did uh, her faux traveler's notebook um, cover tutorial. And I had been waiting to find something, so that was just perfect timing for me. So thank you so much, Yvonne. Um, you get complete credit for these. Um, and I will put her link below to that tutorial because it is so simple. Um, I've always been intimidated because of the elastic, not really sure, and she explained it perfectly. You know, really easy to follow. So um, I'll just, these are four, about four and a half by eight and a quarter, the covers are. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Well, I followed her tutorial, and then I've just added some of the Sari Silk Ribbon. And then these little things, they're little, um, let me see if I can get the original package. These are some little snap open button covers that I picked up at the car boot and I loved them. As soon as I spotted those um, I knew eventually I'd have a use for them and today I thought they went perfectly with this. So I'm calling these kind of like my bohemian style. I think this is as close to bohemian as I'm gonna get because I don't really have a lot of stuff in my stash but having said that I love how they've come out these papers are gorgeous. I recently purchased this. Um, I don't know who this. I'm not familiar with this brand. But we've got a stationery shop here. And um, when I saw that, I just couldn't resist. I'll show you guys. They're just such pretty um, papers. It's a pity they're not double-sided. But other than that, I loved them. So um, I bought those, and then when I saw Yvonne's tutorial, I knew that that's what I was going to use. So yeah, that was really, really fun to do. So they're both basically the same. Um, they've got, they're made so that you can take these out, and I have stitched the, um, the pamphlets with a five-hole pamphlet stitch there. It's very secure. Um, so you've got two signatures and each of the signatures has got about um, uh, 15 pages. So I've worked it out that that is about 120 pages in this little thing, which isn't bad, you know, for a little journal. It's a lot of writing space. So I've kept these fairly um, simple, and I'll just go through them. They vary a little bit, so I'll, I'll go through both of them. Um, this one, I'm going to probably be calling this the blue, because um, the insides of that's got mostly red, so this is going to be called blue. Um, and I've just added some a few little journaling cards that I have in my stash. Um, so lots of little places to write. And then I just, lots of stitching on this again. I don't know if I showed you properly on the, um, the cover. I followed the tutorial, but then I came back because um, I felt it like it needed this particular pa paper that I used wasn't maybe as strong as what Yvonne had used in her tutorial. So I felt like it needed another layer. So I did some stitching around. As you can see, I've layered that up. I've got, I've ended up with two, three, four, five, six layers on that cover. So it's, you know, it's still paper, but it's pretty sturdy. And then that's the back. Uh, so Getting inside here, like I said, I've kept this fairly uh, plain <clears throat> so that uh, it could be embellished later and so on. 
Nice big pocket um, in the front and back of the signatures. This is some needle point uh, paper and I've just folded it over, did some stitching there and made a little pocket there. Everything's been tea dyed and this was some um, washi tape I bought ages ago at uh, Michael's and you guys know I I just don't ever seem to use the washi and I thought it coordinated really nicely with this so I dug it out and uh, finally using some of the washi tape so I don't know it's kind of got a Mediterranean feel to me the whole journal so I don't know if that's bohemian or not but that's what I'm gonna call them. <laughs> um, some Edith Holden page and then I've just taken you know little scraps and and snippets and, and glued in um, just various book pages. Some tracing paper there. And just, uh, I had some extra paper, so I cut out some tags from that. And then this is another little pocket. I've not filled every pocket. Like I said, I've just kept it pretty basic. I uh, love how this has um, come out. It's It was a lot of fun to make this, especially after that big journal I just completed. This is another uh, double pocket here. Uh, I did that on one of the wage um, envelopes because that last journal I did was um, quite a job for me. You know, I, I tend to stick with the smaller journals. Here's some more of the washi tape. I put that on some of this vintage uh, paper. Some more of the sorry silk. This is another old uh, book page from an old furniture book I picked up. Pages are in really good condition on that book. Um, this is just another low tuck spot I made there, and then the back of it's got another big uh, pocket here. And then these are some uh, old. I bought a big lot of um, postcards um, at the last flea market and these were in it and they're all from China so I don't have any idea how old they are but I think they must be fairly old just from the way the back but when I say fairly old I'm thinking probably 70s maybe I don't know though so I thought they kind of went with it because it's all you know seems to go well with it this is the second signature and like I said, I've done this, these big pockets on all of the signatures so that you've got plenty of place to store things. This is some old music sheet. This is some papers, uh, digital papers, love those. And then I backed it with some lined paper. This is some old um, uh, flower, let me see. Yeah, wildflower book. And another little pocket. And this is an old typewriter um, book that I picked up. Um, and this is going back, I think, to the 60s this was printed. So um, that's nice. I've put that in there. I put a sheet in each of them. And just various uh, book pages. Another little pocket here. This is some of the um, red cabbage dyed paper. I love how that came out. This I've just included. Um, it's a adult coloring book page. That's the center of the signature. It's nice and thick. So some more of that paper. As you can see, there's lots of space for writing. Another little pocket. And the great thing about this is when you filled it up, you can um, just take it out and reuse the cover if you want to. I mean, they should hold up pretty well because I, I did try to reinforce them really well. And this is the back. And then I put another of those, <coughs> excuse me, postcards in there. And then this is the back cover. It's got two little 
slide in pockets there with a couple of tags or and then a, a little tiny playing card and then I've left these to open so that you can do more journaling. Uh-oh, that one's glued. I'll have to... Um, I always say I'm going to check these things before I start filming and I never do. There we go. So that will open up so you can uh, some journal some more. And then that's the back of the cover. So pleased with how those came out. So that's um, what I'm calling the blue. This one I'm calling red. And they are made the same. Just reinforced it. S loads of stitching. And there again you got one, two, three, four, five layers of cardstock on there. So they're they're pretty sturdy. Another big pocket in the front of this with some more journaling cards. And another big pocket. These papers, I love them. Some washi there. And here's just another little journal card in that pocket. Music sheet. This is some uh, like parchment paper. And some tracing paper. And some more of that needle point. And I've made a little tuck spot on this side with it. Um, very similar to the other one, but just a few few changes on, in this one. Another little pocket, that's the wage envelope. And that's the center of the signature. Like I said, these can be pulled out. And here's another pocket. Some more of that cardstock. And then here's uh, one of those postcards. Bit more washi there. A couple of tags in this pocket. And another big pocket there. And then this is the second signature. It's an Edith Holden book page. And this is um, this type typewriter manual. And then that's another of the postcards. I love this paper. I think that's really pretty. It's a really dark teal. Bit of washi. That's that typewriter manual. Another little pocket. Lots of space for you to write. And then a pocket on that one. And then this is the back. Same type of thing. Um, they open up so you can journal. You can already see that one stuck. There we go. And a couple more little tags. And a little bitty playing card. So there you go. I just wanted to share those today. I really enjoyed making those. Thank you so much, Yvonne, for taking the time to do us a tutorial. It's so nice to um, when people take the time to show us, you know, how they're doing things. Because it, <clears throat> if you're like me, um, when I'm on YouTube, oh gosh, the inspiration on there is just amazing. Really talented ladies in our little world so I'm really grateful when they take the time to do a tutorial and show us how they do things 
So I really love how these have come out. So anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by today. I um, hope you guys all have a great weekend, and I'll see you um, soon. Bye.